Hi there, Del Warren here, Kegel Training Center. And the tip today is, again, a little bit something a little different you may not have heard. And that's a little spin on the modern release. So back when I bowled on tour, my coach was John Jowdy. And he really taught me uh, to lead with the ring finger in and to give the ball a half a turn. And I was uh, one of those players that locked their wrist and used to lift the ball, which was very common in the 80s and the 90s. And then along came the modern release where we know um, that uh, along came to me, uh, Amoletto and Pete Weber, um, back in the late 80s and the, and the early 90s that really um, were the first to me really dominant players to collapse their wrist, use their shoulder more and their elbow. And we know that produces a lot more speed and a lot more rev rate, but also produces the right kind of rev rate. Now, what I mean by that is we know that we want less axis rotation today. We've got more energy to the ball and we have less tilt because there's a flood of oil on the lane and you're on a synthetic surface. So we, we have more energy to the ball, but we've got to control that, okay? Now, what's interesting about the, the wrist, when we talk about unloading, is that the angle of the wrist, um, the hinge, is on an angle. So when you overcup the wrist, we have wrist cock. When we unload the wrist, the, the wrist goes that way relative to the forearm because, again, the, the wrist sits at an angle to the forearm. So try this the next time when you're trying to get a little bit lower axis rotation and you're trying to keep your elbow in and get more of that modern release look. All right, so if you notice here, um, we, let's try not to turn our hand. And what we wanna do here is just take your thumb at release and point your thumb at the ring finger. We, all, we know that the ball has to exit this part of the hand in order to get side rotation. We also know that we don't want it to exit this part of the hand or this part of the hand because we end up with a full roller or a backup ball, all right? So as we're releasing, we're gonna keep the elbow in. We're not really gonna rotate the forearm or the hand, and we're just gonna take this thumb right here and point it to the ring finger, ensuring that the weight of the ball falls in the right direction. Um, I've seen many, many bowlers from the head-on position studying the modern release that actually do that, and I know they're not trying to do it. It's just a tendency that I see with bowlers um, that have a lot less uh, axis rotation, a lot of the 450, a lot of the 550 RPM guys, and their, and their forearms don't move. They don't turn their hand. So give that a try. The first time you do it, do some foul line drills, get in that nice solid position, and just look down at your hand as you're doing it, and make sure that you're pointing that thumb at that ring finger, and notice what the roll does. You may even want to measure your axis tilt of your normal release versus um, this new release. And I think you're gonna see a big difference in your ball reaction and your rev rate.